we have here the Ichin BTX 03S. It's a pretty small BTX. Uh, for example, it's actually it's very small, right? Uh, we can compare with the Immersion, R Immersion RC Tramp HB. It's a lot smaller. For example, this is a normal small form factor BTX like this AKK, but there are other several brands with the same size, more or less. I don't have any TBS here, but the, for example, this is a full stack BTX, right? So this is a very, very small. We can check, it's a, not too, it's about 19.3 or 19.4 by, if we measure this size, it's only 16.5, maybe from here for the connector. 21, so probably we can say it's 22 by 19.4, roughly. So it's a pretty, pretty small BTX. Uh, it has a IPX connector, which is not my preferred connection type. I prefer like this, a MMCX, so are more practical. But for example, in this one, this is a, the same type of connector. Uh, the original one, after some crashes, cracked, then I had to replace the antenna and it's uh, very difficult to replace. But anyway, that is uh, one minor thing that I don't like, but actually for this small form factor VTX, there is not much that you can do. Plus many people still like, prefer this one over the MMNCX. I prefer MMNCX, as I said. Uh, this is uh, from 25 milliwatt to 200 milliwatts, 25, 50, 100, and 200 milliwatts, which is pretty enough for any type of usage. Uh, this seven segment here is a little bit bigger, can be smaller than this, but anyway, uh, it's pretty small. And the push button for to change channels and bands and power. Uh, this, is a, this is an antenna that comes with it, but you can replace with something like this and use any other type of antenna you want to. So whatever type of connector you can put here. This is the one I will, well, probably I will try with this one first and then later I will replace with this one to see if this makes any difference. For sure will make difference depending on the range and locations. The input voltage for it is a, from 3.3 .3 to 5.5 volts. So you can fit this with one cell battery for tiny whoops or small builds or you can feed the power from the fly controller. So, as I said, uh, this one has a, here we can see the, the feed for the power, right? We can supply the 3.3 .3 to 5.5 volt through this connector here, pretty well isolated. And as well through here, we can have a ground connector for the camera. Uh, we can have uh, the video input from the camera. We can have the five volt for the camera. And we have the smart audio, which actually doesn't go for to the camera, but uh, that one, uh, normally you connect this to the flight controller, not to the camera directly. But anyway, you can cut here and use as whatever you need. But we have, uh, again, the fits here for the, for the five volt for the camera, the ground, the video input, and the smart audio, which allow you to do several functions through the flight controller, like uh, for example, set your VTX to when you plug the in, you can set it up to be starting at 25 milliwatts. And when you arm the quad, you can put 200 milliwatts. So that goes easy because normally when you arm your quad, you are closer to the pilots. And then when you arm that you start flying, you get even far away from the pilot. So it's a good moment. It's not that good to put 200 milliwatts very close to other pilots when the frequencies are close to each other. Using a smart audio, every time that you plug the battery, the flight controller sends the parameter to the VTX. So there is no problem with memory. But anyway, this one holds the memory, all the features, all the settings, I mean. And let's see, well, let's see how it flies. So.
As we can see, we have here already the BTX working. It's a, well, by default, my, my flight controller has set it up in Betaflight that start at race band, channel two, and power one, which is a, in this case, 25 milliwatts. So then a, if we arm the quadcopter, that is something that I would put on another video probably. If we arm the quadcopter, you will see that we'll change to race band, channel two, band, channel two, right? But the power is two. The second two is the power, which should be 200 milliwatts, or I will check on the manual right now before telling you. If I unarm, and disarm, we'll go back to one. So that is a good feature that we can have when we have telemetry, in this case, a smart audio for the BTX. It's a pretty good feature because we that's it. So it's working correctly. Everything, the only thing we need to do now is a flight test. Okay.